almost 100% of franchisees who engage in wage fraud. So that offers are not just turning a blind eye, it's a fundamental part of their business. They can't run 7-Eleven as profitably as they have without letting this happen. The reality is it's built on something that's not much different from slavery. It's something which has bothered a lot of people, including myself, and it's something that you just can't... You get to a point where you just can't let it go for any longer. You know, too many people are being exploited for us to just keep carrying on, turning a blind eye. Enough is enough. A lot of us know the kids who work at these stores pretty well. You see them every week, and you know that they're working really hard for their future. They're usually students, and you can, you know that they know that you're in on it. And you feel guilty, you feel sick. You feel like you're part of the exploitation. You're, you're just letting it happen. But also you feel bad for the franchisees. A lot of those guys, uh, they're not all bad people. They're just trying to make a future, but they're, they're trapped. They've bought into a system which will have to exploit kids to get by or they have to be exploited themselves. So you just feel, you just feel like everyone's in it, caught in a trap, aside from maybe perhaps the guys at head office. It's great. Nobody needs $143 million profit in the year. Do you think the jig's up? Absolutely.